we saw during last year's hurricane season, tornadoes can be a threat during a hurricane. So I went to Delray Beach to learn how we should all be thinking about tornadoes now so we can make smart decisions and stay safe. Okay. She still thinks about it. That night was extremely frightening. The EF2 tornado hitting Mona Casal's Kings Point Senior Living Community near Delray Beach September of last year. We had no idea what, what was going to happen. Packing winds up to 125 miles an hour. The damages were awful. A pretty significant rotation. One tornado warning after another. And if you were like Mona, prepping felt impossible. We didn't have a heck of a lot of time. What does someone like me do? To help, we first bring in First Alert meteorologist Jennifer Correa. How should we think about preparing for a tornado compared to a hurricane? Well, Ashley, with a hurricane, we have days to even about a week to prepare. However, with a tornado, you only have minutes or seconds. How many minutes are we talking? So as soon as the National Weather Service issues that tornado warning for the warned area, the average lead time is 13 minutes. All the more reason, like it says right here, quick reaction is key. And as the American Red Cross will tell you, that requires planning. If a disaster is on your doorstep, it's too late to prepare. Eric Roby, executive director for our local chapter, says have two kits ready. First, a go kit with food, water, medicine, batteries, and chargers. That is a kit that only lasts for three days, and you can carry it on your back in a backpack. The second, a stay-at-home kit with two weeks' worth of food, a month of prescriptions, and a gallon of water per person in your house for two weeks. As for the moment a tornado warning is issued... With a tornado, you know firsthand that oh, you I have to be, yeah. you know, very, very careful. You have to know where to go to be safe in your home. So for Mona... You live in a second-story apartment building. Right. It would be best if you potentially could, ahead of time, make arrangements with some neighbors if you had to go downstairs quickly. The other option would be for you to seek refuge in your bathroom. Roby says quickly head to a small interior room, usually a bathroom, no windows, and the lowest level possible of a sturdy home or building. Depending on the severity of the storm, depending on how much time you have to react, pillows, mattresses, as a matter of last resort, absolutely can save lives. Also, we have to plan ahead for our pets. I will not I leave it. my alley. I, absolutely, and that's okay. what we have. I have to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> Roby says it's one of the biggest mistakes the Red Cross sees in something like a tornado, people not planning for animals. The more you're prepared and the more you think about how could, what would I do in this scenario is going to make sure that you're going to be able to make a, a better choice when you really need to. Let's take it a step further here. After the tornado's passed, maybe you're left with damage. One of the first calls you should make besides 911 if needed is to the American Red Cross, 1-800-RED-CROSS. That will do a couple of things. Uh, ladies will put you in the Red Cross pipeline, so it'll let them know if you need help. It'll also alert them maybe your neighbors need some help too. Mm, great tips there, yeah. 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 Another thing that came to light during that story was you should practice these tornado drills in your home. Like, yeah, know who's cool. going to get the pillows, who's going to get the mattresses, right. where is that interior room? So if you practice it, you know, when seconds matter, you'll know exactly what to Especially do. Especially if you have right, kids, you know, right. firefighters always talk about having that meeting spot. It's mm -hmm. the same thing in this case, too, yes. in the house, but yeah, finding definitely. safety. Definitely. Like you said, short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. So having a plan uh, and practicing that plan, as you mentioned, when it comes to a tornado warning, you know, you'll react faster, and that's key, right? So <laughs> truly life saving. Truly, definitely.